Hello viewers. In the previous session, we were discussing about the niacin. It's a sources requirement function on deficiency, and we ended with the deficiency of niacin causing pellagra, and its complications involving dermatitis, diarrhea, and dyspnea. Hence, pellagra is called as the 3D disease. Now we are going to continue the. Niacin which causes pellagra affecting the skin, gastrointestinal tract and nervous system. The skin you can see dermatitis which is usually skin is affected and then we are having a GAT problems, gastrointestinal problems such as nausea, decreased appetite and then watery diarrhea. Whereas in nervous system, you can see hallucinations. So hence, this is the illustration of pellagra affecting the skin, gastrointestinal tract, and nervous system. Now we are going to discuss about the pantothenic acid. Pantothenic acid, which is also called as vitamin B4, it is having a pantoic acid and beta alanine held together. And the sources of a pantothenic acid is uh, liver, meat, milk. The dried yeast, whole cereals, legumes are the good sources, and it is uh, synthesized by bacterial uh, flora in the intestine. Also, the requirement of uh, pantothenic acid (RDA) is uh, 10 mg per day. And the biochemical function of uh, pantothenic acid it is having two coenzyme forms one is coenzyme a and another is acp acyl carrier protein which is involved in carrying the acyl group so these are the two active forms of uh, niacin sorry pantothenic acid vitamin b4 so if you come across this uh, coenzyme A which is having wide uh, involvement in various uh, metabolic uh, functions let us discuss or observe where this coenzyme is involved in carbohydrate metabolism lipid and protein metabolism coenzyme A is involved this is the illustration where pyruvate is converted to acetyl CoA in this process various factors are required and one of the factor required for this reaction is coenzyme A which is shown in a box with the help of enzyme pyruvate dehydrogenase this comes in glycolytic pathway joining to the Krupp cycle where pyruvate end product of glycolysis converted to acetyl CoA through this reaction where coenzyme A is involved and in this slide you can see Krupp cycle or citric acid cycle where CoA is involved with the acetyl CoA in the beginning and then getting released during the first step along with the coenzyme adding to form succinyl CoA and that succinyl CoA later with release of CoA is get converted to succinate this is the CoA involved steps of a Krupp cycle. Next is biochemical function of coenzyme A. Pantothenic acid, as we discussed, having two active forms coenzyme A and ACP. Let us discuss one by one. First one is coenzyme A. The coenzyme A, which is a constituent obtained from the pantothenic acid, which is a central molecule involved in all metabolisms like lipid, amino acid and carbohydrate metabolism. Some of the important CoA derivatives are acetyl CoA, propionyl CoA, succinyl CoA, HMG CoA, melonyl CoA and sucs fatty acyl CoA. In all these names you can see ending with coenzyme A. The coenzyme A function as a acyl carrier, acyl group carrier are linked to coenzyme A by a thioester linkage to give acyl CoA. Whenever a acyl group is involved, the coenzyme is very vital in this function.
and next is acyl carrier protein the second one active form the acyl carrier protein carries four panto phosphopantothene formed from pantothenate acp is a compound of fatty acid synthesis complex and is involved in synthesis of fatty acids so if you come across fatty acid synthesis this uh, acp carrier protein is involved which is a derivative for, for pantothenic acid and hence very important fatty acid uh, synthesis metabolism and also various other fatty acid related metabolic pathways the deficiency of a pantothenic acid as we have seen the normal quantity requirement is uh, 10 mg per day if this quantity is uh, not met and taken in less quantity than this then it is going to have vitamin complications due to deficiency which are usually called as burning wood syndrome and it is seen in the during the period of war in the prisoners where they are deficient of pantothenic acid so burning food syndrome can be prevented by taking sufficient pantothenic acid next one is vitamin b6 which is also called as pyridoxine or pyridoxal or pyridoxamine three different forms are available in this vitamin b is a collective term to represent three related pyridine derivatives pyridoxine pyridoxal and pyridoxamine yell represent all date form amine is amine form and all are having equal biological activity the vitamin b6 which is a pyridoxine is where is available in various sources like dry dish rice polishing wheat germ cereals liver legumes oil seeds egg milk meat fish and vegetables the rda of vitamin b6 is 2 mg per day the requirement increases in special conditions <coughs> biochemical function the vitamin b6 pyridoxine is having a coenzyme pyridoxal phosphate and this pyridoxal phosphate is involved in various transamination reactions the transaminase enzymes require plps coenzyme like alanine transaminase and aspartate transaminase in this illustration you can see alanine plus alpha ketoglutarate alpha ketoglutarate is converted to pyruvate and glutamate so the, for this transamination reaction plp is involved below the arrow mark you can observe and above the arrow mark the enzyme alanine transaminase will perform this reaction hence this type of reactions requires pyridoxal phosphate next one plp involved reaction is alanine transaminase and uh, just we have discussed now next is decarboxylation of amino acid histidine undergoes decarboxylation to form histamine a pain producing substance by enzyme decarboxylase which requires pyridoxal phosphate with release of carbon dioxide from the histidine the histamine is obtained hence these type of uh, reactions requires plp along with the various uh, biochemical biogenic amino acids like uh, serotonin GABA and other compounds are synthesized by the help of PLP this muscle glycogen phosphorylase is also required requires PLP for its function and PLP is also required for synthesis of sphingolipids and formation of myelin and the myelin sheath is present in the myelinated neurons and hence this is a very important uh, coenzyme derived from the pyridoxine involved in various uh, metabolic processes the deficiency of pyridoxine is uh, associated with the neurological symptoms like uh, peripheral neuritis microcytic anemia depression irritability nervousness and mental confusion because this is related to nervous system functioning the deficiency of this pyridoxine is going to affect the nerve related functionings as we have discussed now thank you very much